Welcome to Fight Back. This is really one of the best campaign there is out there. Guys, this is Roberto Cyborg Abreu. For those that don't know, one of the biggest representatives of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in the grappling and Jiu-Jitsu community. Six times world champion, ADCC absolute champion, European champion, Pan American champion. I don't even know, Brazilian champion. There's so many of those of those titles over there that I can't even memorize that. Cyborg, welcome. Thank you for being here. It's an honor. This is a really good D. This is a really good uh, showing of a solid unit, you know, for the whole entire martial arts community. It's one of the most important things that the fact that you are here, and this is honestly, I know you in a certain way. I wish I knew it even more, but I tell you this, you are a, an amazing representative of a martial arts inside Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and grappling. And it's really, really, it is a handpick of people that show in the heart and how much they contribute to our community and how much they care, you know, for other people's, for other people too. This is really, is, is an honor and it's really a pleasure to have you, have you here. Roberto Cibor Gabriel. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you for the, for the opportunity. Super happy to be here, sharing a little bit of my knowledge, uh, especially in moments like this. I believe that, you know, like anything we can add up to the community, everything we can give back, you know, like we have been right. giving so much love throughout all of those years, you know, like not, nothing more fair for us to give it back, right? So um, I'm super honored to be here talking to you, being a part of this beautiful project. And we're going to be trying to share a little bit with you guys here and have a good time. Listen. Today we're trying to pick some subjects to talk about it. You know, I know that you are in Miami right now, and Miami is in Florida, the hot spot for the COVID nineteen and, and the coronavirus is it's it's a it's a bad situation for all of us. Yeah, I I really think the mindset is one of the most important tools that we can have it to take us out of this crisis. You know. I want you to go a little bit, talk a little bit about that, because I know that one of the most important uh, characteristics of your game itself, it's not even your strength, not even your, your, your ability, it's your mindset. And, and knowing you, I know that you're, man, how many times I see you going to compete just to challenge yourself in so many ways. And I want you to explain a little bit about that. Yeah, Master. So, like, I, be, I do believe that, you know, like, uh, being a champion is not only going in grabbing a medal. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm a believer that, you know, like, being a champion is a result of your choices, you know, and that choice has to be done every single day. You know, being a champion is much more than a momentum. It's, it's not the timing that you use into grabbing a medal, but it's the attitude you have when you wake up every single day. You know, being a champion is an attitude. It's not, you know, it's not. It's not just the, 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 the actually go achievement, you know, moment. Um, and I believe that, you know, Jiu-Jitsu has prepared all of us to this moment. You know, like not only Jiu-Jitsu prepare, uh, prepares us to the moments on the mat, but most, impo uh, most importantly, off the mat. You know, that, that sense yep. of us being, putting under pressure all day long. And although we still have the smile on our faces, you know, always trying to um, look forward into some sort of um, development into our game, into our soul, into our mind, you know? And, uh, and I think that, you know, this moment is exactly um, the, the, the perfect moment for us to exercise that, you know? Like we're under pressure, um, there's a lot of uncertainty, but um, the, the, the knowledge that Jiu-Jitsu brings to us mm -hmm. brings us confidence, you know? Confidence uh, to know that we are going to go through this. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, Master, what, what you said about you know, the fights and the challenge, um, I always try to, to, to engage on is much more than just for the uh, results itself, you know? I don't, I don't fight because I want to be a champion because I, 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 I'm already one, you know? My choice is make me a champion. It's not the medal that I'm going to grab that I'm going to make me a champion. You know what I mean? So I do, I do fight because I love fighting. There's nothing else in the world that I want to do other than fighting, you know? The medals, the titles, they're going to be a result 
of that work being well done. And that's only going to be well done when we put our hearts into it, our minds into it, and our soul into it, you know? So I'm, a, I, I, I'm really a believer that, you know, like the results uh, are nothing more than a consequence of the love and the yeah. passion that you put into your everyday craft, right? And that's what we're doing here, right, Master? Like, yeah. um, unfortunately, a lot of us um, are limited to the amount of work we can do. You know, sometimes we have put away from, you know, from the journey, you know, like a lot of, a lot of us were on a very good, you know, like a uh, um, path, you know, working hard and you know, achieving great things. And now we have a setback, right? And I really believe that uh, the mindset that we have into facing this, that's what we're going to be uh, and that, and water divisor for us when we come back, you know, the choice, you know, like you can choose to be a, uh, uh, to be a, a victim, you know, exactly. be like, oh my God, life is so hard. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know, or you can choose to be a champion, you know, like we always do, you know, the champion is not the guy who always wins, but it's the guy who refuses to lose, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, he refuses to give up, you know, so one of the conversations that I've had with with my students here is like, man, I started my team and started everything we're doing here, Master, from the ground up. Yeah. Nothing was given. Everything was conquered. And if I could conquer when I was young and I didn't have the amount of expertise and experience I have today, imagine now, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm not, you know, like I'm not 1% concerned about rebuilding what, you know, what, what, what I have built before, if I have to, you know? So the, the, the thing that I believe that a fighter has is the peace in the heart, you know, because you're confident, you know, the confidence that we, that Jiu Jitsu gives us, that doesn't matter how many times we smash me, I will come back for you. I will come back and I will fight back, you know? So that passion, that drive that all of us have inside of our hearts because of the beautiful martial art that we chose to practice, you know, will give us that strength, you know, um, that, you know, that mindset of coming back and being a real champion. You know, the champion that will fight for the love, for the passion, and not only for the results, you know, because now is one of those moments that the results not going to be in the reach of our hands. We're going to have to battle out in order to conquer them, but it's okay. Yeah. As soon as we enjoy the journey of conquering everything back, man, we're going to have a smile on our faces, and we're going to be conquering something much bigger than we, what actually we have accomplished in the past. Oh my gosh, this is so in line with everything that I believe in. You have no idea how much I really truly believe in that. The strength it is and keep on going. The strength is I actually have this confidence in the heart and mind, knowing that it doesn't matter what it comes to us, you know, you'll survive. You you come back in the next day. You you're gonna refuse just, just to be defeated. As long as you really have this mindset. Yeah. You're gonna be okay, and you just get better and better and better, and you have setbacks again, and you and you rebuild, knowing that you can, because that's what that's what it is. Now, let me ask you this, because a lot of people, a lot of people don't have this completely as a, a, a as a flow, as a as a as a mindset. How to build this? Let's say somebody who just started right now, and I and I said that's not work because look at this for. For people like yourself right now, as a school owner, there's a lot of white belts there that don't have this in mind, in the spirit, that don't have the comprehension of things that you're saying there right now. I completely can relate with what you're saying. I can't understand everything that you said, but a white belt may not. And that's the white belt that probably are canceling and freezing, you know, because they can understand that this is much more than just a sport, just much more than just a physical activity, right? Well, what's the best advice to, to make those white belts and people that did not reach out to this understanding to, 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 to go this path and, 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 and get this enlightenment? Because that's an, an enlightenment that all, the, the martial arts gives you, you know? And, but there's a lot of people that they wanted to know the trick. They wanted to know the click, the trigger, and how does that? The, 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 there's no there's no magic, right, Master? I believe that, you know, there's a lot of people when I talk about mindset, when I talk about life in general, you know, about the things, the choices I, I choose to do all the time. And a lot of people turn into me and say, 
oh, but you say that because you're cyborg, right? But every one of us choose who we want to be, right, Master? Everything in life is a choice, you know? And the, 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 the choosing to be a champion, like we spoke before, is something that we have to do it every day. You know, despite of you being a white belt, a blue belt, a purple belt, a, a brown or a black belt, and believe me, there is black belts who struggle with their choices. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I, I'm a believer that, you know, despite of, of, of your, your belt, despite of your experience mm -hmm. in jiu-jitsu, you know, you like, I believe that everything is a part of one, you know? And um, it's really important. It's really important for us to just to, to connect to ourselves and have something called self-belief, yep. right? Self-belief. You know, unfortunately, I tell my guys all the time, Master, that, you know, uh, the, 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 only, the, the only responsible to your success is yourself, nobody else. A lot of us tend to rely on other people or rely on, on occasions uh, in order to actually make us being successful in life. And truly that we rely on yourself, you know. So the main thing that I can I'd say, of course, there's a lot of things that come with experience. But, you know, of, of you continuing having those same positive uh, choices in order to build up, but you have to start somewhere, you know, um, and if you haven't have this kind of attitude, I will challenge you to start having those, you know, because that's the only way you're going to be able to build up. Everybody has starts from somewhere, you know, there's not an age, there's no perfect timing, you know, but, you know, you can choose to start today, you know, like having that mind kind of mindset, you know, that doesn't matter how hard you get hit. You're going to still there. You're going to still be positive. You're going to still um, look forward into achieving great things. You know what I mean? When everything starts here, everything starts in the mind, you know? And um, I believe that, that, that that's those kind of attitudes and the way you build up is just like if you're working out or just like anything else in life. You know, it's, it's a matter of you being consistent with, with the mindset you have. You know, the more consistent you are, the better results you're going to have, the more you're going to accumulate. Right. If you start saving a little bit of money every day uh, over a amount of time, you're going to have a lot of money. Yeah. Right. If you start having a positive attitude every day over a certain period of time, you're going to make that being a part of you. And the consequence of it is going to be you yeah. being successful. Right. Nobody just becomes expert like an expert from day to night on anything. In life. You know, like it's a, the choices you accumulate that over time we're actually going to be something of value, right? And um, I do believe that, you know, like it's very important for us to be... Um, and I just want to add one thing there because I truly believe that. That's some subjects that I really, I really enjoy talking about because I really think of, of too much of that. There's nobody who would really achieve success without passing through setbacks and to moments that you're going to doubt everything that you, that you believe in is, is going in the wrong way. It's just a matter of having that consistency and, and like this mindset, you said that whatever it takes, whatever ghosts they're coming in, whatever, whatever rocks they're gonna be throwing at you, you have to consistently look at the path. The path is in this way, don't quit. It's just coming back and just doing it again and again and again. And that's why you say it builds up, it builds up the mindset of comfort and on one thing that I want to put there, I, I believe that the sport, martial arts, and I'm putting martial arts because there's a lot of martial arts there, Cyborg. They are not from our background, probably people that are listening right now, but we all martial arts have one thing in common. We believe it, that the fighting is, is part of our nature, but not fighting to hurt, fighting to, to, to struggle and to improve ourselves, to, to keep it in this good path, right? Or, or the path that we choose it. Well, there is, there is a spiritual thing about that. And it's spiritual, it's nothing to do with religion. You know, it can be to do with religion, but spiritual for me is a connectivity with something else that is stronger than us. Like if you believe in God, okay, that's your connectivity right now. If you believe in nature, that's your connectivity right now. If you believe in science, if you believe in luck, if you believe in it, whatever it is that you're believing in it, you know, that's the spiritual connectivity with people. That's that's something wonderful that makes you towards happy. And this connectivity is something that you believe in. You say, well, 
it's not in my power. It's not in my hands. I cannot control 100% of the things that happen like the coronavirus right now. What I do is I really, I really trust this connectivity. I really trust that whatever is happening right now. And I just keep doing mine and I will succeed no matter what, because whatever comes in our way, we're going to deal with it. As much as it hurts, as much as it burns, as much as it as it itches, as much as you think that this sentence is not going anywhere. But if you believe in something and you like to say you believe in yourself, you believe that what you learn is a true experience and you learn it in this path of continuously doing it. You continuously just just doing it. And it, it it's just it builds up this confidence that whatever it takes we'll we'll deal with it and we're going to be we're going to be okay, you know? Yeah. I'm just sharing this because it. I truly believe that. It, it helps me a lot in life. And, and look, all of us, you know, like all of us, like there's there's no such a thing as a perfect life, right? There no. is always we're going to have the good things happening and always going to have the bad things happening, you know? But yeah. you just got to see what you're going to feed, you know? Like there's no one that ever is going to have the perfect life for us where yeah. every area of your life is going to be um, going 100%, you know? Like, man, you have family you have job you have health you have you know what i mean like something always something's gonna be given in you know and uh it's important for you to be to be grateful for the good things you have you know what i mean because a lot of people you know like of course like unfortunately today i was talking to one of my one of my friends you know and he was like oh man and like oh it must be tough to have the school closed so yeah man it's really tough but look i cannot control that so i'm not gonna focus on what yeah. i cannot control I'm going to focus on what I actually yes. can control. And the things I can control, I'm doing amazing. I'm doing great. What are those? Or look, I'm the best shape of my life right now. You know, like I really pushed my, my, like my health to be a priority for me this moment. You know what I mean? Because look, we're going to be fighting next week. So the first event that's back now, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to be in. I'm going to be doing the main event. You know, like because I prepared myself into being ready to the opportunity. Right, Master? Yep. You know, like, other than that, you know, like, man, I have been um, fixing my house and I have been uh, building the projects that I can for the near future of my gym whenever it gets ready, you know, whenever we get ready to come back. But again, you have to be positive about the things that you actually can control. The ones that you cannot control, it's going to be, you know, like, like you just... It's already in control. Things that you yeah. can't control, it's already in control. I mean, it is uncontrollable. It is what it is, right? It is what it, it is. is. And you can't be like, yeah. you know, like you, uh, relying on that in order to to be able to, you know, like uh, uh, be happy, for instance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because some people are like, man, how do you do this? Like how you keep all this energy with the world falling right aside you. It's like, it is what it is. You know, yeah. like what I cannot control, I cannot control. So I'm, I choose to feel the blessings and to be grateful for the things that actually I do have, not for the things I don't have. You know, if I don't have this, all right, one day it will come back. Master, I have a phrase that I've heard once that I carry with, with me, and, and it's completely true. Look, you, and the phrase is, okay, the quote is, you can never have something that you're afraid to lose, you know? So you can never be so attached to something that, you know, that you're afraid to lose because that's never going to be able to be yours completely or you're going to suffer too much in order no. to conquer. Every time I enter a competition, Master, with a mindset that, like, I have to be the champion or, you know, like, oh, this is so important. Every competition is the same. They just change the names. Yep. You know what I mean? And that happened multiple times with the world, for example, for me. I would win everything and everybody would always tell me that I had to be the world champion. And for multiple years, I put so much pressure on myself on having to accomplish that I would freeze. It wouldn't be cyborg yeah. fighting. You know what I mean? So again, whenever you're the champion, whenever it's meant to be, it will be yours. You're going to be the champion much much before you enter the gymnasium that day. You know what I mean? But I, everything has to do with the mindset and with the approach you have. You know what I mean? Oh, and to yeah. me, oh, in right. business for, on this moment, if I would be capitalizing and putting my energy into the gym that are not going to be able to open, man, it would make me depressed. If I would be thinking about, you know, I, talk, I spoke to my mom yesterday, and my mom was super down. You know, of course, you know, she's she's a mom, and she loves to, it's like the heart of a mom, right? And she was like, oh, my son, um, 
I'm so sad because you worked so hard to build all of everything you built and now you don't have us like mom. You're missing the point. You know, I worked so hard into not only, it not, wasn't for building the gym itself, but it was for building who I am. You know what I mean? And for that, you can be proud. And for that, I will tell you, don't worry because I'll make it happen. I don't know how, I don't know when, no. but I'll make it happen. So take <laughs> that beautiful. weight out of, off of your heart, right? And sometimes because we are human beings, we choose to capitalize on the wrong, on the wrong mindset on the wrong vision, you know, Master. So like, man, you know, the business, it will come back regardless. We will reinvent ourselves. We will find a way, you know. But while you cannot find a way, you know, work on, work on the tools that you're going to possibly use when you actually have the opportunity of doing so, you know. Like, for instance, I, I didn't have a, a fighting schedule. I didn't even know if there was going to be a, a, have an event for the, for the next month. But not because of that, I, start, I stopped preparing myself, you know, because people say that luck is a combination of preparation plus timing, right? If you prepare at the right time, you're going to take the prize, you yeah. know? So you can't wait uh, for an opportunity so then you get prepared for it. You know, you have to prepare yourself, you know, whenever the opportunity presents itself, you take it. You know, and that goes for every aspect of life. I tell my guys all the time that I don't train for a competition. I train for life. You know, I don't train because, oh, I have, I'm preparing myself. I don't believe in camps. My camp is made all year long, all the time. Like any day of the year, master, you come to my gym, you know, you'll be prepared to fight tomorrow. I don't need to make a camp, you know, because I'm always prepared. I'm prepared mentally, physically, and spiritually to face any outcome that might present in front of you. And you know that, you know, life doesn't tell you or oh, when something's going to happen, when you're going to get a setback. It just happens. Yep. You can't get prepared for that. So we prepare that. We prepare ourselves every single day of our lives. You know, we got to just jump on. So preparation is the most important thing. If now we can't deal and, and, and deal with the outcomes that we have been facing right now, just prepare yourself on the best you can, so whenever there is an opportunity, you're not gonna need to prepare yourself for it because you're ready. Because you're ready, you know. So I do believe that a lot, Mr. But this is this is exactly what being a martial artist is. But everything you say to right now, but all the lifestyle, it's just as much more. You know, I just wish. Look, I I was gonna say this two things. One thing about the mindset of a competition itself. I truly believe is this. How much more you go deep into competition, you understand that it just changes the name, especially if you're in a circuit. If you're in a circuit, you follow the circuit like you do, and you go from one place to another place, you understand that it just doesn't change much. You know, even the Olympic Games. I work at the Olympic Games, and I help to build the mats and everything else. And from the, from, from the athletes that are coming in, they were in a circuit for being in there. You know, it's a very special moment and everything else, but for them, it's it's not too different. But when you build up a very good circle of people around you, that it will be there for the right reasons, not just because they're fans. Yeah. Do something for you and the people that you truly believe in. That's, that makes the whole difference in the world. Now, there is one thing that, that I truly believe that you, you know, you, you just hammered the point, is that the martial arts is, is, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It is, it is absorbed the mental, the physical, the spiritual aspect of what a martial arts is and transform into this. Now, people like you have two very important things. It's almost like a mission. You have to mentor, mentor others. You gotta make sure that people listen to this message. They listen to your story. To, to, to get the inspiration, like I am inspired right now with things that you said, and I guarantee there's people there that are listening right now, they're very much inspired. And this is, this, which I believe that for martial arts, especially for jiu-jitsu, is very, very important right now. That yeah. people to understand there's much more. It's just much more than medals and trophies. It's much more than just being the world champion. It is much, much more. If you transfer this mindset that you're saying it right now, this lifestyle to anything you do, you're going to be successful in anything. If for business or relationships or, or, or family, it's all this. All this is into 
dick and holding in there and and, and it's just half this budo this lifestyle of of martial artists that that i truly believe that makes me and makes you you know and different and i love it i love it to talk to you about this i love it that you have this mind set and i love that you can really you know verbalize this and the way they're doing right now that people can understand people people can comprehend i know that sometimes sometimes there's people that they has this content they have it but they cannot put it out they cannot share it and exactly. you can and you can and you can you prove it not just because of course you have a platform of success and competition but there is people there they have this platform of success but they don't know how to how to transfer this you know and i think is man i think it's beautiful i think this is exactly what we need i think even for black belt magazine and for everybody who listens to right now it's important to see that we are a, a, a big root philosophy martial arts and this is really something that is much deeper. This root of BJJ, this root is much deeper than just a, a grappling oriented, you know, combat sport. I think and, it's very important. Like the mindset is everything, Master Ong, because like that's what are going to make you successful in whatever you choose to do. You know, um, I, re I really believe that Jiu Jitsu, you know, like uh, it makes you get to know yourself you know? because we all know that you can't. You, you, can't, you can't hide your weakness in jiu-jitsu. You know? Whatever your weakness is, whenever you put the gi on, it's going to come out, you know? And, and, and that's a journey of self-understanding uh, and self-development. That's what we're going to make. That's what makes everybody so much better through this amazing martial art, you know? Um, uh, coming, coming, out of the, coming out of the mindset, you know, the, of... Uh, of, of self self understanding, I, I believe that um, ev anyone can capitalize on that. You know, like the but people have to actually tune in and understand that this will happen. You know, like it's so easy for people to look around. You know, but it's it's and it's not easy for people sometimes to look to themselves. You know, and to see what's missing and how they can actually um, make um, themselves because change is something hard. It's very hard for anyone to change. You know, and to do self-evaluation, you know, for you to look into you, look in the mirror and say like, man, how can I make my craft better? Well, every time I go teach seminars, Master, I tell the students, it's like, um, I teach the techniques, of course, you know, like, because that's yeah. how everybody wants to learn from us. But I, on the end of my seminars, I sit everybody on a, on a circle and I talk for 30 minutes about mindset because I'm a much believer that, you know, like, m much, uh, Jiu-Jitsu is much bigger than just, um, us having thick necks and big ears, you know, and, and collecting medals, you know what I mean? I believe that um, um, transforming people into being champions in life, um, it's much more of a goal to jiu-jitsu than the medals itself. You know what I mean? Uh, that that uh, making people come out of their shell. How many people have seen that, you know, come come to the gym and they don't have um, a confidence on themselves, you know, they look down, they barely look on your eyes, you know, like they don't have that no, no, that that energy, and after a while, you they just transform completely themselves. Their yeah. chest is high, yeah. their chin is high. You know, they're talk, more talkative. You know, like they they can actually share with people much better. They, you know, and that's the that that's the beauty of Jiu Jitsu. You know, and the and the mindset of champions. You know, master, like talking to you, talking to other other great people who have achieved achieved success, not only in Jiu Jitsu but in life. You know, like every time I get to know someone who have um, achieved some sort of success, I try to pick their brain, you know? Like, I don't want to know exactly just like what they've done and how they've done oh, to exactly. achieve their success technically, but mostly mentally, you know? Like, and every time I go teach a seminar, I tell all my students, like uh, all the guys, I say, whenever someone come to teach a seminar to you, try not to ask them just too much about the techniques because techniques in the end of the day, you can look on the internet, you can look on like on a, on, a, or yeah. on a DVD on YouTube and things like that. The most important thing is for you to pick their brain. Like yeah. why? Like how? You know, like how do you think? How do you see life? You know, what's your vision of life? You know, and it's very important for us that of course different people have different ways and approach to life. But if you can pick any little detail at least, and you can implement in your life, you're going to be one step closer into achieving success yourself, you know? 
So that's that's my intake, you know, like to that, you know, and that that little thing that you know, like little little attitudes that you have every day that you can fix on yourself over an amount of time are gonna become great things. You know, like you can't just try to uh, turn from water to wine from day to night. It's impossible and unrealistic, you know? So, but it's very important for you to, every day you change a little bit. If every single day, Master, you can change 1% of yourself, only 1%. Don't, don't try to change 100% of yourself in one day because it's not going to happen, you know? But if you change 1% a day, in the end of the year, it's 365. You are you like you completely change yourself over to like <laughs> three times and over. You know what I mean? So how amazing is that? You know what I mean, Master? So like it's I love it. That, I love it. Uh, you know, like the our evolution uh is eternal. Uh it's eternal, you know, you're never gonna stop evolving, you know, and that's the beauty of everything we choose to do, right? And jujitsu is the same. There never, there's no one that can ever say that knows everything and that can then I and they will ever know everything. You know, there's always room of improvement. There's always different ways of doing the same thing. You know what I mean? And that, and and having that that student mindset forever is very important. That's right? the I key. Try to That's learn the key of building the, the true masters. The true yep. master is always also the best student. Always, always. The true master is always a student. There's no way to be different. You you can't shut yourself up. But I like right now. I am. This is a subject that personally is I'm, I'm heavily involved. I believe the new step for our sport it is combined this. The most important thing for us as martial arts right now is to establish a real didactics on how to spread out those philosophies, how to actually implement what you say and what you live right now in, into a trigger, into a comprehensive tool because People see it, cyborg. People listen to it, and and many times they don't know how to do it. You, you understand what I'm saying? Let's say yeah. let's talk about confidence. Okay, you you want to be confident here, and you are here. This this trail, this path, it's something that has to be extremely comprehensive. Like I wake up in the morning and I mentalize this and I do this. You know what I'm saying? A, a real a real mental philosophical workout like yeah. like meditation is and this is what i think we should be implementing and and have more research on it and have more tools on this you know i know that you do have uh you you do have a flow of things there right you you i know that you yeah. have, we have 20 minutes only right now and i know yeah. that so like one thing i, that I, want I wanted to see this training we went really deep into the mindset here, <laughs> which is amazing, which, which I think is, uh, it's very important for everybody to get that mindset. But just talking about training, okay, uh, uh, going back to jiu-jitsu now, uh, man, so we know that, you know, like, uh, it's funny that um, sometimes a student comes to, comes to you and say, man, how do I get good in jiu-jitsu? And it's hard for you to answer something like that because you never get good in jiu-jitsu, Right. You get good in specific specific positions of jiu-jitsu that combine over a, a, a certain amount of time. We're going to make you good in jiu-jitsu, right? Because like we said, in life, you don't change yourself. You don't transform yourself from day to night. In jiu-jitsu, happens exactly the same. You know, like you can't just become good in jiu-jitsu from day to night, but you have to be good in specific things and... I believe that jiu-jitsu is like a puzzle, right? It's a big a quebra, um quebra cabeça. It's like it's a puzzle that if you get like every day when you come to the class, you come to your your for your first professor will come and they're gonna give you a little piece of the two uh, of the of the puzzle. You're gonna look at it. You have no idea what that piece means, you know. But in the, but that piece only gonna make sense if connected. By itself, is never gonna make sense. Over time, master, there is a lot of people like who are uh, true in like uh, books of jiu-jitsu, right? You're gonna talk to them; no. they can say every technique there is. They're gonna say, you know, like the history of jiu-jitsu. But whenever you see them rolling, sometimes it doesn't translate to the amount of knowledge they have, just because they don't have the connection. Yeah, the connection is something very important, right? And um, I see styles of training, right? Like, uh, of course, uh, a lot of people have different uh, intakes 
to the way they train and the way they actually get good at it. Um, uh, on my way of view, Master, Jiu-Jitsu is something that, you know, really, um, like Bruce, uh, Bruce Lee used to say, right? Move like water. Why did he say move like water? Because you have to flow. You have to connect. You know, like you have to have that connection in between every one of the techniques there is that you use in Jiu-Jitsu. And that's going to extend to every area of your life. Your business is only going to be um, successful when you have connections inside of every aspect of the business itself. So in Jiu-Jitsu, it's not different, you know? So the way I, I, I see that uh, would make people successful for training is I believe that flow, you know, like in Brazil, we call so chin, you know, yeah, it's so you true. actually understanding the reactions of your opponent, you know, and like other martial arts, they have katas, right? They have the yeah. little kata, karate has the kata, you know, like you do uh, by yourself in boxing, you have, you know, you have the, 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 drills. the, the drills that you do of combination of, of punches and all of that. In jiu-jitsu cannot be different. The problem is people come into class and they, they drill one technique, the technique of the week, and they try to actually perform on the roll. And unfortunately, a lot of times it didn't, doesn't work. Why? Because whenever the prof you're doing the technique uh, at first, the guy is almost dead, right? Uh, unfortunately, partners don't understand what partners mean. You know, that you need a certain sort of, uh, 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 you need interaction, you need reactions in order for you to perform a technique. Jiu-Jitsu is, is based off of reactions. You know, you don't just perform a technique like you can, like I'm saying, like I, if, I, if I ask 100% of the competitor, of the, of the athletes, or not even athletes, mm -hmm. of like practitioners, you know, say, can you do an arm bar? Everybody's going to know how to show me an armbar. Mm -hmm. But if I say perform an armbar on a row, a very few are actually going to be able to perform just because they don't have the reaction. reactions into place. They don't know how to react. So the way I see that people should do into training masters is doing kind of a, a drill. You know, of course, you learn techniques, but it's not just technique. You can't just drill one technique. You need to, to train a chain of techniques mm -hmm. and reactions. Mm -hmm. Your opponent should always be reacting to you. Of course, like everything else in life, you need experience. And that experience you're going to have by training. So let's say if I do a technique on you, at first I'm going to do like my opponent's not going to react, so I get to coordinate my body, right? I believe that jiu-jitsu is easy. What's hard is the coordination. Mm -hmm. You know, whenever you're learning a new technique, yeah, the technique is that uh, the hardest part is for your body to understand the movements and the mechanics, right? So uh, the first time you do it, your opponent doesn't give you reactions. The second time, he gives you 5% reaction. He's going to hip skate, frame on you, put the hands. So not only you're learning the technique, but you're learning how to deal with the reactions will present when you try performing the technique. And so on. So you do 5%. Could I do it? Yes. Yeah. Cool. 10%, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50%. And if you can't perform a new technique at 50% with, uh, uh, with your opponent having 50% reactions, believe me, it's going to be much more like you're going to be able to perform on a match or on a row than if you would if you're just doing it on a dead body on the floor. True. You know what I mean? And then the combinations of, 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 of those moves. So you learn one technique. After the technique, I'm going to combine with the technique that's going to follow that first technique. I can't just do one technique. I have to have a flow into where I'm going after I just pass. How many times do you see people that actually get to pass the guard, but then they, the guy actually replaced the guard or something like this just because they don't know. They never drew the combination of that move with the move that will follow that move, if that makes sense to you. Well, you know? yeah. Yep. So that's the flow, right? The flow is you combining combining uh, techniques, you drill individually, and then you attach them like uh, uh, a puzzle, and you drill those set of reactions, right? It's just like a ball, right? Like you have a ball, the ball circles. I square, I, I square doesn't roll. A ball rolls. So you can't just have one technique. One technique, there's no way this is going to be a ball. 
you have to combine that with a set amount of techniques in order for you to be able to be successful um, over over amount of time. So I just want to like give you an, an example of what I'm talking about, you know, um, so people get that that mindset there, and then we go from there. If anything you have to add or ask, Master, please don't hesitate. No, it's awesome. I think everybody's excited to see it. Me too. <laughs> okay, so let me try to arrange here in a way that we're gonna be able to to see it. I have here with me João Zão Vinci. I have João here with me. You're gonna be helping me today. <laughs> Super oh, nice awesome. mustache, nice mustache there. Yeah, that's Just a lot of time. There. <laughs> As a quarantine mustache. Let's see there. Sidebar doesn't have it even that. So, <laughs> man, I should I should grow here and then grow up. <laughs> Just side here. <laughs> can cover what's missing. Oh man. Try to arrange here in a way that you're gonna be able to. Well, we can hear it. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about, can you hear me, Master? Yes, yes. Okay, so the first thing I want to, I want to talk about, <laughs> let's start with the basic technique, right? The basic technique I want to talk first is, uh, let's say, the Koreana pass. Koreana pass is a pass. position that we do all the time, at least we should do all the time, it's just a woman, or whenever we're talking about fire passing, Cyborg, Cyborg, uh, do you mind if come a little bit closer? You can come a little bit closer. I think it, it's still space for you guys to do it all. Like this, like this, yeah. I think that would be perfect. We can see you, we can hear you. Everything is perfect now. So whenever we're talking about the the for instance, um, I see that people hesitate a lot. So it's very important for you to be a sniper, right? That's it. I believe that there's a lot of people who come and they fight and just want to go, you know, like, headbutt. Yep. And, uh, like, we all know that, you know, like, you have to be, I don't need to do um, 20 good moves in a fight. I need to do one move, one good move, and that one good move is going to put me one step ahead. Whenever I'm one step ahead, that's it, the fight's over. I just need to one move, I need a headshot, right? So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you guys here a little uh, detail that I have for the for the Coriando, okay? So I'm here. The first thing is like you never grab and you keep the grips. I only approach my 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 opponent when I'm actually ready to pass. So whenever I make a grip, I make a grip to actually get the guy back. So whenever I'm here, what I'm gonna do is gonna control. I I never had legs parallel. I was gonna have one leg in front of the other. Because that's that's gonna give me like a wrestling sense because this I can go forward and backwards. Okay, it's gonna give me better agility. When I approach master, I'm gonna control as I grab the pants, I can't grab to think what I'm gonna do. By the time my hand touches, I'm gonna be already uh, um, doing the test. So as soon as I can do what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna take my leg backwards, shift. Okay, and I do like a missile, okay, I call the missile test. I don't fall like a tree, I shoot myself yeah. like a missile. So I lower my, my stance and I, I shoot in an angle that's going to be very hard for me to hold inside of the angle. So whenever I'm here, I'm going to control, shift, and go forward. Whenever I go forward here, that's one detail that I have is it's going to shoot with my left shoulder on his lips, I'm always on my toes, I never put my knees on the floor, because every time you pass in one's guard, the floor shade is gonna be hip-staking. If I put my knees on the floor, they're gonna replace, boom, I lose mm -hmm. it. I have to be able to follow him while he tries to stick, right? So whenever I'm here, if I have control of both sides of his hip, I can follow him, so whenever he go. Uh, wherever he goes, I'm going to be following him, okay? My knees are off the floor. Whenever I have the opportunity, I'm going to control the far side of the hips, and I'm going to replace my hand that is on the stance that I never let go with my legs. Now I can hug the neck, and now I can put my weight down on my open. But I'm always 
in front of him. I'm, I, I'm always replacing one base with the other, and I don't watch the position and mouse flowing with him. I'm a believer that you never fight against your opponent, you fight with the opponent, right? That's yep. the, the flow that we're all talking about. You know, you don't, you don't fight with the yep. guy, you fight with, uh, against the guy, you fight with the guy. So whenever we get to side control method, I have this little detail that I do. There's many different ways of doing side control, okay? And um, uh, I'm not the king of truth, you know, but I was someone who always um, learn by perception, right? Yep. How do I pay attention on, on the body movements and the way you should position yourself in order to have a better understanding of control? So we always thought since the beginning of our journey in Jiu-Jitsu that the most important part of your body in Jiu-Jitsu after your brain, of course, is your hips, right? So we always we thought that we have the, the hips is the most important part. Why? Because everything is generated out of the hips. Every space that your opponent uh, might try to, to get comes off of the hip. So it comes from the upa, comes from the hip scape, right? That's why those basic movements are so trained in the hips because we really need those. So what I do is I try to stop the motion so it doesn't even start the escape. So what I do, I never do a side control controlling the, 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 the head and neck. Or I don't do controlling both hands on the same side. What I do is control I head. put my knee on this side under his butt. I connect, I control the pants, and I have my, my form parallel to his leg. Okay? And now what I do is I pinch both of his knees together. Whenever both your knees are pinched together, you cannot hip skate anymore. I limit your, your motion for hip skates. The only thing you can actually do here is a hip Okay, so whenever I'm here, I don't even worry about, about too much. This same movement can be used for no D as well. Okay, so control here, my hands on the floor, or if you want to, you can control the power. But the intention, like the, 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 the secret's not here, the secret is you controlling the hip. Try to hit straight there, no. Look, he's, he's locked. Okay, he cannot even start. If by any chance he opens and tries to generate space out of that, I do a movement called the windshield wiper, which I'm here. As soon as he opens, I shut the motion yes. city towards him. And then now, this leg here, I, I use my leg as a windshield wiper, bringing his hips out to let the floor. Go back again. Yep. It's very important that every time I want to control my opponent, whenever I'm inside control or mount, I never want my opponent on his side. I always want to flat him up. Okay? So let's, let's just combine this, this three little details that we worked on right now. We worked on the guard test, we work on the side control, controlling the head, and we work over work and I talk to you guys about the wind should like. So if I'm here, I'm gonna go up. One, two. I'm gonna try to escape. I'll follow. Three. I'm gonna try to up. I'm gonna see through. When I sit there, back to deep flat on the floor. So just that is three basic reactions that you have as you start the flow. Okay. Yep. Then let's go one more. Every time I'm here, every time I'm here, I'm controlling the seat now, Matthew. Because I'm so low, okay, like my forearm is always attached to his thigh, my hip is always connected to his hip, so I'm really low. So here, the only thing that we can do is actually push my neck. That's one of those things that's important for us to understand, that what you do is you corner your opponent on a way that you limit the amount of reactions that he might that he can have towards you. You know, and through experience now you're gonna be able to filter his reactions, you're gonna be always one step ahead of him. For instance, whenever I do this side control, the only thing they can do is try to frame my neck. Whenever they frame my neck, I'm gonna use my hand that I was controlling the neck here. I'm gonna control wrist under the elbow and I'm gonna touch my hand to his belly. Now his arm is stuck. Okay. 
and I was concerned that I hear were two in one. You bet? Look, my mouth. Yep. My heat. My heat never touched the floor. I was near. I was going to do all. Two legs in one. In my hand, in the other side, that I had my elbow, I would place my elbow to the hand, bring both legs together. So I have two and one here. My hand can only get out of the leg when I replace my hand with something. I'm gonna mount, pulling his leg with my calf. So try to move that dog. Here he's completely stuck. Okay, he can't he escape, he can do anything anytime. My knee is gonna help um, under hooking the arm as I hug the neck and connect my arm. Closing guard under his butt. Okay? Oh, and you already there on a, and you already there on an arm triangle choke. Huh? And you already there in a katagatami. You can have attacks, you can have everything. There's a bunch <laughs> of gaps. Beautiful. So like there were submissions before that, you know, that oh. you could see, but like I always um try to um put more importance of the positions and the submissions because whenever your position your position is right. The submissions will come towards you. Yeah. I'm never looking for the submissions. I'm looking always for control. But because of my control, the submissions will be the prizes that I'm looking for. Right? The opponent's going to be like, kind of like, please, man, just take it. I don't want to be here anymore. Cyborg, so let me ask you this because we, we just have three minutes. <clears throat> let me ask you this. And, João, stay, stay around there, João. Kim, come over here because this is really important. Listen. How do you how do you suggest people to actually drill this at home? You know, you get a partner like Joao and you establish these three moves or more, right? But in the beginning, on the first drill or or in minutes or rounds, uh, Joao is just going to really actually use the five percent, ten percent. How do you increase this on a real circuit? I'm sorry about that. I know it's three minutes, two minutes now, but just for people at home right now, what do you suggest? Uh, the, the, the partners got to understand that they're never there to take away from the partner, but to add to the okay. partner. So yeah. I'm going to go 5%. Like if, like, João feels that that 5% is too much for me, he will decrease the power that mm. he has. So I get timing into understanding where the problems are and I can address them. You know, that's the importance of it. You know, like uh, my partner is never there to say, oh, see, you couldn't do the guard best. That's not his job. His job is to help me having a better understanding of the position. You know what I mean? And as it goes, you know, like going to do 5%, 10%, 15%. When I did a 50% and I'm communicating, say, hey, John, how's, how's, the, how's the pressure? Oh, put a little bit more pressure on the left shoulder, control a little bit more of your legs, of my leg. Um, you took like, oh, okay, okay, let's do it again. And I do the 15% again. If by any means that 15% was too much, Next time yeah. we come, come back to 10%. And I'm gonna drill a couple of times at 10% until I master it. And then I evolve to the 15, oh. to the 20 and so on, you know? And again, you can always add more to it. Like here we did the guard pass, uh, and then we did the side control variation of control, and then I would mount. From there you could unmount. And, so and, and also, or, João, and João could actually also reverse this and, and have the, the, the whole entire drill been for him. Yep. yep. Been for him. Him reacting, you you and a 5%. And Cyborg, listen, we have to wrap it up. I can't tell you something. I could speak with you for hours and hours. All this mindset subjects and all this little philosophies that I truly believe that's the core of what the sport is. Man, I, I can see you as, as beyond mastery. I think I think you have to speak more. I think people have to listen to you more. I mean, I'm just so glad that you are in in this with us. You know, you're part of this. Uh, the Fight Back campaign, which is in collaboration with the Red Cross, has the best intentions in the world to raise the money from the from the front runners and everybody who is on the front line right now of this coronavirus. And I can say for everyone, from Black Belt Magazine, from 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 everybody who's watching this right now, man, we're we're so proud to have you here, man. You're you're such an inspirational human being. You know, besides being a champion, you're such an inspiring person. I 
I definitely have to have you more. We're going to have to do more of this. And and I want you to leave a message to everybody there. I know that people are sending me messages here <laughs> you know, to say how inspiring is this, how cool is this. But at the same time, I want you to leave something, some, yeah, uh, something to there. We have to wrap it up. I know that people are sending me messages. That's what I'm, First of all, I'm Mr. rushing. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, I love being here. Thank you, for being here with me, man. Um, you know, Mestre, deeply, deeply, deeply grateful for the opportunity you're giving us into being able to share, uh, to share this, you know, share a little bit of our knowledge. I do believe that's very important for everybody to try to share more, to yeah. give back more, you know, to donate more, because there, you're never going to be able to succeed in life if you're not giving back, if you're not, you know, like sharing with others um, the blessings that was given to you. You know, so like I'm always here for you, Master, whatever you need, however I can help the community on any projects you might have. You're a great idol, not only no. on the mats, but most especially off the mats with the person you are, with the heart you have. You know, and um, I just want to make myself available to all your projects because you always... Oh, right. um, You're a special person, <laughs> You are Thanks, special everybody, person. for being present here with us today. Be positive guys okay choose to be a champion in life yeah. it's too easy to be a champion on the mats okay be a champion yes. in life be positive okay carry that inside of your hearts okay and i really hope all of this pass through and whenever it does so that we will it's just a matter of time i would love to have every one of you guys coming through miami and having a good row of celebration of the comeback for you yes and more than that Black Belt Magazine is going to be really actually inspired by people like you. Yeah. And this is going to be a continuous work. I believe that Black Belt Magazine really recognized Jiu-Jitsu as one of the core martial arts, especially people like you proving that, Cyborg. People like you proving that you contribute so much that it goes beyond your medals and trophies, way beyond your medals and trophies. And that's, I'm, I'm inspired. I love you. I really, I, I really am a big fan of the human being that you are. And, and there's, it's not a coincidence you have so many people in, in common as a, as a friends, you know? I truly appreciate it, João. Obrigado. Guys, thank you. Everybody's at home right now. We truly appreciate you all, you know? And really, really, if you, if you really have to 